Theo is killing it. <laughs> I don't know about that. <coughs> Cheese. Yes, we are good in vlogging. So, welcome to Zerma, uh, probably one of the most beautiful places I have ever been and I guess the EWS ever been. Zerma is such a beautiful place and the weather seems to be amazing for the weekend. So, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to be back on my enduro bike as well, you know, I, I've clearly missed it, uh, racing enduro, so yeah, all set to, to be a good weekend. Hi, here is Naga Kolam. Uh, uh, we are here in Zermatt. You can see Matteo riding his first EWS track. Loving it here, especially the climbs. Ooh. And yeah. Ooh. So we did stage two, that was good, and then we arrived at this little place. We had to stop for coffee, and then we found Rob. And yeah, I found a nice fit for my size. Pretty good. Yeah, Rob has been cheating. He's been cheating. Been he's cheating. Stays, he coming down yeah. from stage yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. But it's not. It just pushes you back up. It's been cheating. And, and how is it, how is enduro, Matteo? Down is fun. Up, painful. <laughs> but I got a good coach. Now he's a good yes. coach. Yes. We got it. Good times. Good times. We got some good footage now. Yeah, it was tough. Um, very unfair and getting better. But it was good to get to ride with the, with Naga and the guys. Like, it was useful because we had a few issues with mechanical as well so in the end it was actually good that I went and I enjoyed it starting around here. Technical tracks, I'm cooked now <laughs> but it was good, it was good, really enjoyed it. Rocky So Greg is in the background always, you don't actually see what he uh, does but for me it, it, it's a lot and he helps us with massage and yeah basically thanks to him and thanks to the mechanics we just need to ride our bikes and they take care of all the rest oh yeah the gun is it's pretty funny it, it has a lot of oh, oh, beep. yeah yeah there is a lot of uh, pain it's not it's not like a massage that you go to the spa and you just relax and enjoy it it's it's to me it's one of the most important things to to have bread around and it's, it's really and I feel lucky to, to have him around. He makes us laugh. Um, <laughs> he cooks some amazing food and he does some good massages. So um, it's like everyone in the team, it's good to have him. Ready for this one? So I'm pretty tired today, but I guess everyone is the same. And yeah, just gonna do my best. And as my coach Nati said, nothing to prove, nothing to lose. So try to do my best and we'll see what happens.
everything. I tried to pace myself and uh, the altitude is pretty high and you can definitely feel that in your body. Yeah, pretty sore but I made it through stage one. That's a great day. Should I just do chainless? Oh, apparently riding with no chain is really hard. You think it's all downhill? It's not. Uh, yeah, I had a few almost <laughs> because you don't have the half pedal to save you but I'm gonna try to make it on time for stage 3 and hopefully if we do 4 and 5 we did it earlier there was a mechanical a big technical passage with the bike. Just took everything off and ran all the way up two stages and ran in between. That was pretty hard. I'm pretty f up right now, but two stages to go. I'll do my best. I have coffee, so it's good. Good till uh, stage three where I caught up a rider and I went straight into a corner and the bike fell off a cliff. So it wasn't too bad, but still lost. Uh, too much time unfortunately but there's still two more stages to go and uh, I'm currently in second so I'm not too far off Sam so um, hopefully I can have some good last in two stages and uh, go for the win. God, what a day. No chain, no problem, just a lot of pain. Uh, it was a pretty hard day. It got harder as the day went on with my uh, finger. Hopefully not broken, but uh, it could be. And uh, it was just getting more and more painful, but we got through the day with, without really a breaking finger on the front brake, so it was as good as it could be. Time for a bit of a rest now and uh, chill out for a bit back to New Zealand and uh, get married in December. Yeah, actually I would say today gave me a lot of motivation because I really wanted to come here and at least race for the win because until now I was not mentally prepared to do that. And I felt like today I was, yeah, I didn't know if it's possible but I was trying to go for the win and did my best. It ended up after like five minutes maybe, but <laughs> um, to be second in the world, I think it's really, really awesome. And, I'm happy to, to have GT behind me and yeah, super stoked with it and honestly I could not have done it without them. Yeah, awesome. Uh, finishing off the season uh, just like I started with a win. Uh, it's pretty, pretty insane. I've, uh, it's been probably the toughest years mentally, uh, going through everything I went through and uh, it really feels awesome. It's even more special to win this weekend. Uh, just because of what happened uh, the last few months, so I'm extremely stoked and uh, yeah, it's like I said, amazing to finish off the season this way.